This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And today we're going to talk about my experience with Windows Tiny 11. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I, I really meant to make this video a month ago. And now more has come out with uh, Windows Tiny 11. I think Chris Titus says that there might be a, a virus in there. Uh, let me explain my experience with it. Um, right before I installed Windows Tiny 11, I wanted to see how it performed and how, how it was to install. Um, and I, I have older systems. So I want to see if the performance was better in gaming than my Windows 10 system that I, I just tested some games and their FPS, probably I, between 10, maybe around 10 games. So I just wanted to see um, where I was landing. I, I was hoping the performance would be a little better than Windows 10 or just a little below Windows 10. Well, believe it or not, it was half the performance. I'm like, and it's this exact same system. I'm, I'm, I'm what, I, I was blown away. I'm like, what? Why is it half? Then this is before Chris Titus says it might be infected. So I just want to talk about, and I did worry about the fact that I'm grabbing an ISO from someone other than Microsoft. I'm not into, I'm not in, I'm not into trusting people that manipulate an ISO because you don't know what they're going to do to it. And I don't know why it was slower. And maybe there's other people out there that have installed Windows Tiny 11 and they haven't seen any performance difference, or maybe they didn't test the performance to see if there was a difference. Uh, but like I said, I just had tested uh, this system because I was testing the, uh, uh, a CPU and a video card and then some other games along with that, some extra games that I didn't include in my, um, in my video. And I just was like, what is going on here? And I don't, I don't know why it did it, okay? Then I went to install also an updated driver. I had, one, I had one driver that wasn't nothing to do with the video card or anything like that, and it crashed. So I wasn't planning on keeping it anyway. Um, I would just rather install Windows 11 than that. And just, and just so we're clear here, there is a way to install Windows 11 very easily on hardware that doesn't meet the requirements of Windows 11. And... There are tools out there that can de-bloat your Windows 11 as well. And so if, I, if you want a lighter Windows 11, I would go that route. Yeah, it's more steps than just grabbing an ISO from somebody that's called Tiny Windows 11. And then I think there's another one, Windows Lite or something like that. It is, you just take the risk of, of, of installing something or of something being malicious in that ISO. In that ISO. And I don't really know what Chris Titus found. I haven't even seen his video. I just happened to hear about it. Um, and I don't know if it, and I haven't really looked up others to see what kind of issues they have. And also, too, one of my friends is an IT manager, and I told him about it. And uh, they installed it on a laptop, and they were having issues with that laptop. And they weren't 100% convinced. Plus, they they didn't really want to... They didn't necessarily want to go around Microsoft anyway, but they just wanted to test it. But they, he called me up and he's, he asked me if I had any problems and I did share my problem with him. His problems were different than mine though. And so I just wouldn't rec recommend anybody grabbing any Windows ISO from anywhere else but Microsoft. Anyway, thanks for coming to the channel. Again, my channel is about making things easy, practical, and affordable. Um, have a great day. I hope that's helpful. Now that was easy peasy.